Hey guys, this is DR for Tiger Tech, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of Google's new Chrome web browser for the Mac. Well, it's not entirely new, it's been out for Windows for a while now, but they just released it for the Mac. And one thing that's missing from the Mac's version is that there is no extensions available. Google just released extensions for Windows, but since Mac is still in beta, I'm expecting this should be, should be available soon. So here it is. The logo kind of reminds me of a Pokemon ball for some reason. So right off the bat, if we right click, we can go into the regular version or we can go into what they call incognito settings. What this is, primarily private browsing in other web browsers such as Firefox or Safari. What this does is, it won't leave any traces of websites that you visited, such as cookies or histories or even Google searches or login IDs. So this is the ideal, let's say if you're buying a gift for someone, let's say if you want to surprise your spouse with something and you don't want them to find about it and you share the same, same computer, you can go into this setting, you can go look for your gift and they won't find about it because they won't leave any traces behind. Right now we're going to be going into the regular version. As you can see, it's very fast. Once you click on it, instantly it opens, very quick. And we're greeted with this um, home screen. So here we have tabs of recent, like your most visited websites. So let's say if we click on one of these, right now I have auto block clicked and voila, it comes. And let's go back now. So what the, what you can do is you can click on it and you can move these tabs around like that, for example. And what's different about um, Google's Chrome browser in comparison to Safari and Firefox is I, I noticed that it's kind of faster and uh, one thing that's cool is that you can set um, themes for it. So if you go into this themes tab right here, there are themes by artists like for example Porsche, there's one by Porsche and um, there are tons of themes and there are themes by Google and it's very easy to set these themes. Let's see if we want to set this um, Maria Carey theme. So we just apply theme, so download, loading, and it's set. Let's see if we open up a new tab. There it is. And if you want to go back to your old theme, the classic theme, we can just go back into themes, go into theme, themes by Google, and classic, apply that, and voila, you're back into the regular theme. Let's go back now. So here, down here, we have recently closed um, tabs or windows. And if we go into view full history, this will give you a list of all the websites that you visited. So that's pretty cool. It's very accessible. And here you can set the themes by, like right now we have it by tiles, or we can do recently visited website by list. And Google was one of the first browsers to incorporate tabs right above here instead of at the bottom of the address bar. So you can just click on it, click the plus sign and it will open a new tab. Or you can press command T and it will also open up a new tab. And what you can do with these tabs is you can move them around. Right? Or if you want to de uh, detach them, you can just click and drag and it will become its own separate window. Let's say if you want to attach a tab to a window, you could do that as well. And voila. And the browser itself is very fast. For example, let's go to Engadget.com, see? And here it will give you suggestions of websites or any websites that we, you recently visited. That's pretty cool. And it's very fast. Now let's open up another tab. One thing, another thing that's cool about the Chrome web browser is that, let's say if you're looking for something, let's say if you're searching for something or, so we just click on the address bar and we'll just put the Tiger Tech. And if there is websites, it will suggest the website or if there's websites you recently visited, it will also suggest that. And let's if you know if there's nothing there, if you just click enter, it'll do a Google search. And voila, that's it. So that's pretty simple, like you don't have to go into another thing, you can just search for something right from your address bar.
we'll go back now. Now let's do a comparison between Google's Chrome and uh, I have I have Firefox open here. So let's visit a website. Let's visit gizmodo.com. So that was quick. As you can see with Google it suggests that was also fast. So it's very comparable. Even though Google's um, web browser is a beta, it's still very fast. One thing that you can't do with the Google web browser yet is that it's not compatible for Apple's new MacBook Pros, the pinch to zoom option. So like right now see I'm pinching to zoom, it's not working. But in comparison to Firefox, if you pinch, it'll zoom in. So that's one thing that I don't like about um, Google's. It's, it's a nitpick, so I don't usually use it often. And um, let's do a comparison between Safari 4 and Google Chrome browsers. So we'll go to Engadget again. This is a website that I visit on a daily basis, so it's already been loaded. So that was pretty quick. Let's go to Engadget over here. So that wasn't so bad. Let's go back to Chrome. So here if we the home, you can set home or you just click on it. It's Google's obviously the web page. And um, here we have we can go into new incognito web window from right off uh, the existing window. And that's about it. Um hopefully um they'll, they'll fix these little bugs that are here for um, when they release the regular version other than the beta version right here. So that's a quick look at Google's new Chrome web browser for the Mac. If you like this video, please rate, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you